I need everybody to zoom in on the hat. What hat? This hat that I'm wearing right here. It's the Greg Olson Levine Children Hospital hat. Goes on sale Saturday, Sunday morning. So everyone go out and get yours, support a good cause, support a good guy. Anyway, sorry. What's your favorite Thanksgiving food and do you call it stuffing or dressing? You call it stuffing. My favorite, <laughs> my favorite Thanksgiving food would probably be, um, I like sweet potato pie. Do you make said sweet potato pie, or? Do I don't make it, no. <laughs> Someone else will have to make it. I, I'm, you know, I, I can do the turkey, but that's about it. In the spirit of the holiday, what are you most thankful for right now? Good question. I'm, I'm thankful for a lot. Um, thankful for my family, you know, everybody in my life, all my loved ones. Um, just good health, good happiness, and uh, you know, I got a great, great team in a great position, so um, thankful for a lot of things. Christian, uh, Norvis said a couple times this year how much pride you take in pass protection and that you've really kind of improved in that area. I know it's far from the flashiest thing that you do on the field, but can you explain to us why it's an important thing for running back to improve in that area and why you take pride in it? Yeah, I think uh, the biggest thing is, you know, you have to pass protect, keep the quarterback safe, and, uh, you know, keep guys off the quarterback, allow him to have time to throw the ball is, you know, probably the most important part of the game. So you know, I think pass protection might be step one as far as running back development goes. Can you tell us a little bit about the video that you put out with Greg last oh, night? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so Nerf had asked us to do a video. They kind of gave us creative control over it, and so I wanted to do something uh, with Greg because I know he's really funny, and we just kind of did it on a whim, and uh, we were lucky enough to have Sir Purr come and do it with us, so put it together. How hard was it to keep a straight face? While it was going? hard. It was really hard. There were a couple times where I almost lost it. For you now that Greg's not going to be out there, what does his loss mean to you, and how much faith do you have in the offense? I think all, all season you've seen so many different moving parts uh, with the offensive line. You know, you guys going from guard to tackle, tackle to guard, whatever it is. Um, you know, we're going to miss him for sure. Uh, it's a guy who not only is a heck of a player, but brings a, a huge aspect of leadership as well. But, um, you know, it's a next man up mentality, and sometimes that's just the way it goes. And definitely very confident in the guys we have. When you look at the offensive line and you talk about the moving parts and everything, do you ever stop and think, What's the mentality it takes to actually play offensive line? Because it's there are no stats for those guys. I mean, it's a pretty thankless job. And the most satisfaction that GVR told me was that when you hear the crowd erupt when you break into into space, they know they know it's going to go for a long run. Yeah, I think. I mean, the offensive line to me is the most important position on the field. Uh, you know, without them. And you can't run the ball without them. You can't throw the ball, and so uh, it's the it's the least talked about, most important position. And uh, you know those guys sacrifice a lot. They don't get you know a lot of the attention. They don't get a lot of the glory, but uh, they deserve the most. So uh, very thankful for them as well. Speaking of Thanksgiving and things, I'm thankful for the offensive line. Getting, getting something going this week against Washington. You guys obviously have your back up against the wall if you want to play in the postseason. It all starts there. What do you see with that from them on tape? Uh, they're a good defense. You know, they're physical. They got a really good front. Uh, you know, they play they play well together. Um, you know, I think they're a lot better than the record as well. So, uh, you know, they're a team that's hungry that has athletes all over the place. So, at the end of the day, though, you know, I say it every week. It's always about us and, and executing and moving the ball forward and limiting mistakes. Yeah, I talked to I talked to him one time. Um, you know, I had seen kind of the stuff he was doing. Just I was watching the news and they kept talking about him, and uh, you know, saw that he you know he's number one running back in the nation or something. It's pretty cool. It's right down the street. So I had sent him a message, and uh, you know, just said you know, been fun watching you or following you a little bit. So. Nothing you know huge, but you know, definitely been fun watching. Yeah, we had talked to him and he named you as the person in the league that he looked up to the most. So to have kids in this area kind of looking up to you, what does that mean to you? Oh, it's cool. You know, I, I love high school football. I think, uh, you know, any chance you get to, you know, talk to some of those guys who you know are going to have a bright future, it's, you know, it's fun for me. You know, that's a guy who, uh, whether he knows it or not, and, you know, a lot, a lot of guys around the, around the country, four or five years from now, who knows, you know, so um, I had some guys when I was in high school that, that kind of, you know, talked to me, and um, that meant a lot to me, so and I figured I'd try to return the favor.